any lessons before? All self-taught? Okay. So, can I ask you, what what are you trying to do? What are you, like, if you had to go teach, like, a grade two class golf, what are you telling them? From setup to hit. Okay. Okay. So if we're trying to slow things down, how do we hit it far? Um, I think, well, just kind of starting off is, uh, I think it's just trying to hit it, it's trying to hit it far. That's when you kind of, uh, kind of speed things up and then it's just kind of like more rare. Okay. So if your swing goes wrong when you hit it harder, it shows that the gas pedal throws things offline. But like Mike Tyson never went into the ring and like, I'm just going to punch softer today. You know what I mean? So I want you to, like, how, what is this club? Uh, this is my pitching club. So, and how far does it go? Uh, it's going to take about that green flag. Okay. So it, it could go farther, yeah. but we, we don't know until you try and go after it. Yeah. So I'd like to see some speed today, and let's work on the mechanics that provides, that makes the speed work. But I don't want you to leave speed and power at home, because otherwise it wouldn't feel like a sport. Okay, so you've got a good motion. You've got, like, y your setup is good. Take a look. Your setup's good. The way that you move things around is really good. So the setup's fine. You look pretty good. As you take it to the top, we're going to talk about this motion today. Because we can see too much of that right shoulder above your arm. Mm -hmm. Your arm's kind of too low here. Mm -hmm. And that's why on the downswing, we get this club working a little bit the way that we do. We get some misses. So I want to work on today trying to get the feeling like that your arms are going up relative to your body, mm -hmm. not around you. Okay. So let me kind of show you what I mean by that. So we are going to get the feeling that the arms in the takeaway are going much more this way, up in front of you, right? If I could really do it exaggerated, it would be like I could take the club, put it on my right shoulder, and turn, and that's where my arms should be. But sometimes when you've got your arms going around this way too much, right, they can't raise up because they're kind of stuck, right? It's gone too much merry-go-round. Now the Ferris wheel can't get going. I need more Ferris wheel straight up this way. So if we can get that club to feel like it's going more up, that your arms might be going more out away to the right of you instead of back this way, right? Right arm wants to go out get it out that way as you turn i think from there that club's going to be delivered into the ball well on plane to start but this is where you can start giving it speed and see the ball fly instead of taking it easy just so it goes straight yeah, yeah. okay so crank it up to the top for me and hold it there all right one more time uh, can you feel like your right arm stays straighter and it goes out towards your golf bag? Out towards your golf bag on the way up. Yep, keep going up, keep going up. Okay, come on, we'll take a look. Uh, lower back first, arms towards your bag and hold it at the top. Not bad. We'll go through the setup pieces. So we had farther from the ball. We had hands closer to the ground to get the toe up and then hat down. All right, and now arms long toward the bag as you turn your stomach toward me. And it should feel tension free. I don't want it to feel too difficult. So one more time, hold it at that wrist bend part. So 
So just bend the wrist back and hold it. The club's kind of like straight even with your toe line. Good. Okay, so from here on in, can you feel like you lift your arms up over your bag? Yeah, that's higher. Good job. So right wrist bend and arms up to the sky. Good. So what's been the theme of your swing today? Um, just that my backswing, rather than rounding it, yeah. keeping it more uh, kind of straight over top. Yep. And then... Um, out and away from you? Yeah, and then just kind of out and away, and then kind of like what you said, it's just kind of um, with the follow, right hand on top, and just kind of mirroring it. Yeah. That's a uh, pretty, pretty good visualiz visualization. Cool. And once you get those ideas, like the right arm staying higher than the left on the backswing, and then flipping it on the follow through, speeding that up with like your legs and your feet and stuff. That's how we get it a little bit faster. Yeah. But the, the the step one today was getting the club face in the right spot. Mm -hmm. That's bending the right wrist, yeah. right? And then feeling that wheel turn, yeah. left on the backswing, right on the follow through. The opposite of what we see happen, right? But it's a feel that's gonna give you a little bit more stability to that club face. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm just trying to keep that club face on the Ferris wheel. Yeah. When you pull it onto the merry-go-round, we just live too flat, mm -hmm. cool. And what about the finish position with the uh, arms in the club, that little wedge shot? Um, yeah, with the finish position, yeah, kind of like what you said, just, just more pulls naturally by keeping uh, on a slight angle, spinning up, and then just kind of the passive action kind of puts it up. Beautiful, love it. show me one practice swing with no ball where you finish the swing with the steering wheel in the right orientation holding it still. 